Erotic store employees, what are some interesting stories, excuses people have given when buying toys, equipment? NSFW. I worked at a Spencer's in Ontario, and as you know they have an adult section. Some guy, I'd say he was around 18 19 picks up a penis pump and keeps staring at me. So I walk up and ask if he needs help. He with a straight face said I'm already huge. How much bigger will this make me? After that he proceeded to ask me out. Another time I sold a vibrator in the shape of a lipstick to my fiancé's mother, in front of him. I've got a story that sort of fits this thread. At an auto shop in a sketchy neighborhood, one of my employees used to leave his windows down all day when parked on the street despite repeated warnings. No idea how he never lost his radio. I finally came up with a diabolical plan to rid him of this habit before he suffered a theft and passive-aggressively blamed the workplace. Tasked my manager with stopping at an erotic store right along her way with purchasing the cheapest blow-up doll you sell. For a prank. Got a real beauty for under $20 with printed on fishnets and an undignified looking mouth. Next afternoon, I poked an air hose out the side of the building and blew her up. Then went to carry her across the street through a bunch of cars waiting at the signal. Everyone looked on with interest and amusement as I pantomimed SSSH and settled her into the driver's seat of his car. Then I went back in and with mock seriousness said, Monty, there's a lady in your car. He already suspected something fishy, so he wandered out with no special urgency in his step as everyone else followed to watch. It was hilarious watching him try to deflate her as quickly as possible, squeezing and pushing in variants of spooning and the Heimlich maneuver while another wave of signal waiters enjoyed the spectacle. Then he did the march of shame back, trying to look angry with me without success. He never did leave his car open and unlocked again, though not an employee, but a customer. I have a deformity where I was born without a cervix and a malformed uterus, which resulted in my vagina being more like a pouch that needs to be expanded through dilators and such. My boyfriend and I went to a blue boutique sex shop, of course. Don't know if it's only here in my state or not to look around. We go in the section with all the toys and such and since it was dead, the lady in charge, maybe mid-twenties, and I have a conversation with me asking what she'd recommend for someone with my deformity because if I'm gonna sit for 30 minutes with something up my hoo-ha, I wanna at least enjoy it a little. My doctors have rarely seen this deformity and didn't give nearly as much info for sex as this lady did, though I wasn't mainly focused on sex since I was single at the time so, a, she gave me advice at least 20 minutes of foreplay, oh boy and showed me a vibrator that had different vibration patterns and the vibrations were soft so it wouldn't hurt me more than I already would be forcing myself to expand down there. We apologized for the weird conversation and she said this hadn't actually been the first time she has had to talk with ladies with small, deformed vaginas. Sorry if this isn't so interesting, but it was to me since so little people have heard of this deformity. A town I lived in years ago had a porn store. It was always funny to go in there to buy porn back in the pre-internet days of VHS and see others that you knew. You would always start doing this little dance with them. And they you, you would pretend you were in there for one of the novelty gifts for a supposed birthday. They would do the same. They would be waiting for you to leave and knew them. This would go on for half an hour before one of you just gave up and left. Given how comfortable pretty much everybody is with porn these days it's funny to look back when it was a bit shameful. Like two Baptists in a liquor store buying, Sprite. I was the guy doing the buying. My friend and I are into firearms and he recently got a bolt action rifle with no scope. I hinted that I'd get him a scope for his birthday in two weeks. Once I get the scope I see I can reseal the box. I head over to my local sex toy shop with the box and say without hesitation, I need the cheapest dildo you can fit in this box, preferably double-sided. Both of the employees took it professionally but were trying to hold back their laughter. They asked why out of curiosity and said it's for a friend's birthday. Part of me thinks they didn't believe me. Best $20 gag I ever bought though. I've worked at a sex shop for the last five years. If the customer feels the need to make an excuse for what they're buying it's rarely an interesting one. Usually they say it's a gag gift, but some of the bigger dildos are over $100 US. 
so it would be a lot of money to spend for a gag. I always tell them once they pay for it I could really care less what they do with it. The one time I did care was when a really weird guy came in saying he wanted a huge butt plug to rape his wife with because he had caught her drinking. I told him I wouldn't sell him anything if I thought he was going to hurt someone with it. And he left. I like to pride myself on making the customer feel as comfortable as possible. I would never shame someone for their kink. First because I'm not an asshole, but also because that's just going to cost me sales. So whatever the customer is looking for, I'm here for it. Let's talk about it. You into pegging? Great. I'll give you 20% off if you get a toy with the strap on. You into water sports? Why not? We have open mouth gags. And this cool little stool with an opening so she can squat right over you and let it fly. You like to wear panties and lingerie. Remember to go a size up for women's wear if you're normally a medium. Get a large. If you're normally a small, get a medium etc. You need a good vibrator. Three things you want to look out for are, is it silicone? Is it rechargeable? Does it have a warranty? A good clip rocket like that will run about $50 and up, but you don't need to spend more than $80. I run a shame-free environment when I'm working. Friend and I went to the local erotic goods store to get tons of condoms and individual lube pods to help fill an adult pinata. I was pretty shy and vanilla, so it was already a struggle for me to just be in there and not blush. While shopping, I mentioned to my buddy a new bong that I was planning to buy. Friend asked me how big, and I put my hands up and said, oh, like 14 inches or so. Right then, a large bearded man who worked there approached and asked, oh hey cutie, you looking to get a new toy? I can definitely help you find something that size. I turned beet red instantly and started stammering, finally explaining that I was talking about something else. I don't think he believed me, because he tipped my friend a wink and said, okay sweetie, you know where we are if you change your mind. I don't mean to assume anything but this story is way better if you're a guy. I didn't work in an erotic shop, it was a porn shop. The owner thought that it would be a good idea to start stocking a variety of cheap porn DVDs. Had some of the cheesy parodies like Lord of the G-String along with a bunch of other soft core. One day a customer came up to the counter with a carrier bag and his receipt. Uh, I'd like to return these discs. Colleague asked if there was a fault with the discs. Customer said nah, I've watched them and want to change them. Colleague said that we don't exchange stuff like that. Customer sod it. Keep them then and leaves the bag on the counter. Bag contents were rather suspiciously sticky. It was a fun place to work overall. But not that day. We had a short maybe 4 11 elderly man who came in every month or two and bought the new extra large dildos we had in stock. I'm talking the length and girth of a grown man's arm size toys. Ran about $80 minus 120. And anal lube. It was always a gag gift. I must have sold him 10 of the things. Not mine, but a family friend that worked at a porn store where they sold toys pretty sure this story has gotten around to by now. They had all the normal stuff you'd expect at a porn, sex toy shop, including a selection of various sized butt plugs. Now normally they didn't judge, but they had this novelty butt plug that was, as they said I kid you not the size of a dinner plate that everyone would laugh at and then buy something reasonably sized. Until one day this stereotypical guy trying to keep a low profile came in and avoided everyone until there were no other customers in the building. Then went up and said in practically a whisper, I want that butt plug there. Okay, which one would you like? The big one. This one? No, I mean the big one. He bought it and left. And again my friend was not one to judge. But even they were going how the hell was this guy not shitting himself while walking if his ass was loose enough to get that thing up in there. He put a plug in it. I remember back in the early days of the web before 2005. Not sure when exactly there was a blog written by a female employee of an adult video store. She had at least 50 entries and they were all riveting. Regular customers who would rent two videos and return them 75 minutes later. Like clockwork. Weirdos and crazies and all sorts of great stories. I work in a sex store. I have for six-ish years now. This just happened. Maybe three to five months ago. A middle-aged woman. Blonde. Very attractive. Huge breasts. 
asks me to help her try on some lingerie, not that out of the ordinary, sometimes corsets are hard to get on, lots of lace work on some of them, but no, it was just a nighty type thing, sheer black and she just wanted to make sure it would fit her chest because of her aforementioned large breasts, we're not in the dressing room, we're at the counter, she lifts her top, bra included and asks me to get her tits into the bust of the nighty, I obliged, she bought it and left me a dollar tip and said something to the effect of overworked, underappreciated and left. I have many stories, but this is the most recent and most awesome that was completely out of nowhere. Not an employee but a customer. When I was buying a fist-shaped butt plug, I was asked why I was buying it. I said it was a gag for a friend. I lied. I wanted to stick it in my ass. Closing parenthesis. Why the hell would anyone even ask that? I went to the doctor for a lump I felt in my vagina turned out to be a benign cyst, not cancer, and both the medical assistant and the doctor asked how I found it, like, why do you think my fingers were up there, I was honest because I try not to lie to doctors because bad medical care based on my own lies is worse than being judged by someone who probably hears weird shit all the time, but seriously, what possible relevant additional information could the answer to that provide? I think I may have actually embarrassed the clerk last time I went down to ye olde romantics. I needed a new vibrator because mine had died like 6 months ago. I was deliberating trying something different for like 10 minutes before I said f*** it and got the same model I liked. I got up to the register and she checked it all out and offered to me to test it myself. Oh no I'm good. I've owned this model before. I said as she put her own hand against the surface and immediately had an oh shit expression. The low setting is the only one I use but some people used to really weak vibrations are probably shocked by it. She asked if anything else had piqued my interest. I said kinda. I think I'm just kinda happy with this one though. My old one lasted two years before the motor burned out. She was clearly holding in giggles and definitely laughed as she offered me my receipt and was red in the cheeks. Like Miss Lady, why are you working in a sex shop if comments of that caliber are enough to make you snort? I was working at a sex store a few years back. The hours were good and I am very good at selling stuff so the pay was very good. As a woman working there I encountered lots of weird men that would say and do weird things in front of me while picking DVDs. One Indian guy asked me for an penis extension. Then when he was leaving and had already bought his thing he said to me, you a bad girl aren't ya, and tried to slap me across the face. I knew where the camera was pointing so I knew I had gotten him on camera. The next time he came in I alerted the manager and he called the cops. Had him arrested for trying to assault an employee. Not sure how that ended. Another really fat Mediterranean man would go every Thursday and try to lean really close to me on our glass tables. He would then start describing his most recent porn movie he had watched to me while making weird finger movements on the table towards me. I hated that guy. Even after I got a better job and left the sex shop he would ask, where did the other girl go? We once got our sex doll body parts in the mail, and after we unboxed a life-size sex doll and started putting her on display an Asian guy shows up 20 minutes after. He immediately bought the doll for $3,000. He also bought some sexy clothes, shoes and a costume for the doll. Had his buddy help him load his new blonde sex doll into his car. Fastest sell of my life. Last one. A white super tall man walked in and asked me, where are your super small flashlights? I said right over there. I thought he meant something tight. He comes back and says, is this the smallest one you have? I said yes. Then he says, I am looking for something way smaller than this. Making a hand gestures the size of a quarter he asks me for a smaller flesh light. Then he says he has a very super small tiny micro penis. This guy was like 7 feet tall. So after looking everywhere and not finding anything that small he was all frustrated and says oh well I've been let down before. So I see a fake butt. I rip off the tester from the box that is the size of a quarter and give it to him. I say just take it buddy. He exclaimed, perfect, and left all happy. I worked at two different sex shops many moons ago. My favorite people were the professionals. They basically knew generally what they wanted and weren't shy to talk. At one of the shops I worked at we had a selection of toys. DVDs and as I called them, jack sharks. 
These are stalls where there's a video screen that you pay money for however long you wish to watch whatever selections of movies. Our store was purchased by new owners. In the jack shacks we had metal panels to prevent glory holes. New owners decided to take them down because they actually wanted glory holes. It was always sucky when it was your turn to monitor it back there and make change for people. One winter the heating broke down and we were without heat for one full day while waiting for the heating repair people. Owners made us stay open. The thermostat reader showed it was about 36F in there. Dudes were still going into the damn jack shacks even though it was freezing cold. I swear that I should have had complimentary ice picks instead of baby wipes in the stalls that day. This title is ambiguous and makes me envision an employee at Best Buy who just sexualizes all the electronics. I was a customer who asked for a blindfold. The ones at Walmart are too cheap and flimsy. I thought I could get a more durable one at the sex shop. The cashier didn't believe me when I told her this and brought out the most uncomfortable looking leather spiky blindfold. I explained to her I really, actually want to just go to sleep without the sun waking me. Came back with an durable yet soft silk double stitched blindfold. Still have it and I highly recommend going to sex shops for good sleep. You get everything from embarrassed to disturbing. To most people who couldn't handle a job like this. Most daily encounters would probably seem ridiculous. Honestly the worst thing for me was having to measure a 90 year old woman who had a brain aneurysm with a dead left side of her body who needed help trying on lingerie. I spent an hour in the dressing room with this woman. And as I tried to get her out of very tight lingerie. I was basically breathing in her skin dust. Worst day on the job, ever. 